Stunner Brothers, the Mud Brothers record is is hard. Shout out Stunner. Shout out my boy Stunner, man. How did that How did that come up? Because I like how Stunner is is you know he's at this point right where he's like he's he's breaking this glass ceiling of like um being mainstream, but he's still like keeping it local, still you know doing records with his people and whatnot. How did that come? How did that record come out for you? Like I I don't know that song that song it was natural like because I I worked with Stunner before like we worked. Back, like before I even dropped like my f first big song, like we worked and then like, it was like I don't know it was just so natural like it was like we just got in there we locked in we locked in and we just we went we went from there like I don't know like it's just so natural like it wasn't even like it didn't even feel like it was hard or nothing like it was just so natural like we just got in the booth I wrote my I wrote my verse got in the booth my first song was Stunner I freestyled a little bit and I had some rain. I just went in the booth and we were just freestyling, like we were just freestyling together, you know, like we were just seeing what we could make as a hook. And then he caught a hook and I caught a good verse and we caught yeah. it. Our first song is called Big Door. That was one of our first songs. And then we made My Brothers. Mm -hmm. That shit came out crazy. I was hyped, I ain't gonna lie, because we was really talking about pain on that. Right. Or and the streets fuck with it, like, or everybody fucking with that song right now. Right, because he's he's also Hispanic, right? I forgot yeah, exactly what he is. Dominican. He's Dominican too. Yeah, my boy Dominican. I like that because you know. Going on for the culture, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro, bro. like it's cool because right now also you see like a rise in like Latin artists out of New York bro, too. Man, we we up next, bro. People can't sleep on the Spanish artists, but we really we about to take over. I ain't gonna lie. Do you feel like you know? How do you feel like that? Because you know, if, if we look at ten years ago. Right, obviously New York music it wasn't where, where it was ten years ago, but even now, it's like okay, you got like the JIs of the world. Even even CJ is out here with that on on one of the biggest records of, of the of the summer with Al Alpha. Like, right, it's kind of cool crazy, to see man. this this happening in the city now too, because it's like it's it's ha it's been something that I, I feel like knew this for a while. Gonna happen like because it was like I, like before this was happening, I heard a lot of Spanish artists with talent, so I was like, nah, it's gonna happen. Like the spotlight with the Spanish artists is gonna come. ASAP and it happened. I predicted it. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> you called this years ago? Uh, yeah. I already know this was gonna happen. For sure. 